to talk today about who Donald Trump should pick as his running mate. Now, Sarah Palin has been in the news recently, and some people may think that she is a good vice presidential candidate. And I think, you know, on the surface of it, that's a pretty good option. I mean, obviously, she can play the woman's card and she can help to rejuvenate the Republican voting base. The only issue that I have, actually a couple of issues, is that, first of all, she seems to be a a liability. I mean, let's just face facts here. She was sort of a liability in 2008 when she was uh, running with John McCain. And I don't think that it's wise to have two people on the ticket who are associated with reality TV shows. Now, you know, it's a it's a unfair criticism granted, but look, we're we're running against the demo rats, I mean the the Democrats. So, they are going to come out with, you know, guns blazing and they, you know, the liberal media especially, they have no qualms about breaching any, you know, moral or ethical standards. So, that criticism will co- come out in full force, you know, it's going to be hard to convince the American people to um, uh, get over that criticism. I think it's more liabilities than assets in this particular case. Now, another another name that has been thrown out is Dr. Ben Carson. That would, of course, be a very smart move. I mean, you know, <laughs> let's just get you know, let's just get it out there. Okay, I'm not. You know, let's just be real. Uh, ben Carson, he's black, and it'll be great to have a black guy on the Republican ticket. I mean, look, that, that's just the reality, right? I mean, let's. I mean, people will talk about how he's a doctor and now he's a neurosurgeon, and and how he's so extraordinarily intelligent. Yes, all those things are true, but we're we're talking about running for uh, the presidency here, and we're talking about appealing to a broad American public. And the first thing that the broad American public is going to notice is that he's a black guy. Okay, it's just that's just the reality of the U.S. political system, and that scores, you know, whether you like it or not, that scores major bonus points among the African American community. The only issue I see here is Donald Trump is running a high energy campaign and I'm, I'm afraid that you know Dr. Ben Carson is a bit of a laggard in that area every time he goes out to speak I mean I just I you know I conk out because he's just so slow and methodical and it's just kind of he kind of lulls me to sleep I'm sorry I'm sorry it's just it's just the truth he's he's not nearly as high energy as the Donald so you know I just I, I see I see a mix of styles here that may work or you know it may not work. Now if I was running um, if I was the campaign manager, the, 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 the my pick, my recommendation for vice president would be Rudy Giuliani. I mean, let's just double down on the white card. you know I mean let, let, you know like let's not pander to, women and minorities specifically on those qualities let's just you know like donald trump loves to double down let's just double down on the white card i mean this may be the uh you know the peak of the election where white people where white votes matter okay that's that's, again that's just reality of the u.s political system that's just the reality of the demographics okay and the demographic trends so this may be it so if this is the peak of white voting power then you know what, let's just double down on the white vote and get Rudy Giuliani. Now having said that, putting Rudy Giuliani on the ticket, that definitely puts New York into play for the Republicans, decisively. I mean, Rudy Giuliani and what he did after 9-11, people will remember that. And New Yorkers especially will remember that. He is still well-loved, well-received, in New York, I think it's a very smart move. And I think that the Trump Giuliani ticket would put a whole lot of other states that are not typically Republican leaning and may put them into play as well because Giuliani is respected again for his heroism and for his patriotism and for, um, you know, during the dark days, his response in towards 9-11. It just resonates with people and to this day still deeply resonates with the American people. I think that is a very smart political move. 
plus Giuliani has a lot of experience in dealing with high pressure situations, obviously. So once the, the, the general election is done, if uh, Trump and Giuliani are do indeed become president and vice president, I think Mr. Trump is surrounding himself with excellent people, uh, people with high moral character, uh, people with very high intellect, people who have a lot of experience dealing with a lot of uh, difficult, pressurized situations. This would be an ideal choice if I had any choice in the matter.